guys, welcome back to Colson Scooters. I'm Colson Smith, and today we're going to be showing you the coffee pot fish tank I built for my sister for her birthday. It was originally a saltwater tank, but um, it got too hard to maintain because it's such a small tank. So I turned it into a betta fish tank for her. I just took my betta fish out of my tank because I didn't really want it anymore, and I put it in her, in her um, coffee pot tank. Alright, so let's go see the tank. Alright okay, guys, so this is the tank. Um, I have a little air stone running in here. It goes from in the back here the tubing comes around and if you lift this up out of the top it goes through the back here and goes down into the air stone or air or aerator in the back and then in the inside all i did was cut a hole to fit the size of this light in there and then you put the little light in and then the fits make it fit nice fit there and then close it back up the oh the thermometer just fell but there's a thermometer on here. It kind of just fell out, but uh, it reads about 74.5. It goes from 71 to like 75-ish. This cord was hidden in the back until I opened that up and messed it up. But I'll fix that for, for her in a minute. Um, there's a plant in the back there. It was doing pretty well. And then there's some plants on top. Um, he's doing really well in here. Uh, I'm going to feed him real quick. So let me just pop this open. Uh, we f I'm feeding him just these little pellets. He likes them a lot. Um, beta fish don't need air, apparently. So, um, this aerator is not needed, but, um, I don't know. I'd prefer to have him with an aerator. He'll last, he'll live longer, and it'll be better for him, for his health. Change, it is really, really easy. All you have to do is take this out, because it slides right out, pour about that much water out and then fill it back up with fresh water oh and scrub the algae off i do need to do a water change and clean this tank um i would recommend doing water changes on a tank this small like once a week So I actually have another coffee pot and I'm going to be turning this into a saltwater one um, and I'm going to be doing the same thing. It's just a different style pot. It's a little bigger and there is uh, the same thing. I'm just going to cut the hole in the bottom and put that light in. I have another one of those lights um, right here and they're just called um, Zet lights and they're little mini LEDs and they grow coral and they grow plants so they're, they'll do work really, really well. If you haven't seen the last video, I wanted just to show how clear the water got. The pump cleared it out really, really well. This was in my Crusty Gecko cage. Um, yeah, the pump cleared the water. It's like crystal clear. So these plants. Um, the in upcoming videos, I'm going to show how to set this up. I'm going to go step by step on how to set it up and all that. Like what lights, heaters, all this stuff I need. I'm not actually going to be putting fish in this one because it's going to be the salt water. Just coral. Um... But then back to this, um, the water is at a good level to where the crusty geckos, if they fall in, they can just hop right out. I've seen them do it. And there is this log right here, so they, can, they just climb right onto it. And there's some rocks that come out of the water to where they can get on top of that and jump out if they do get stuck. But they can swim um, out of the water, but they can't swim for a long period of time. Plus, this isn't very deep, so they can just climb right out the, with all these sticks and logs guys okay, since today's a little bit of a short video i'm going to be feeding my dad's 150 gallon reef tank i'm just going to be feeding the fish in there um most of them eat out of my hand so it's pretty cool i'm gonna take you guys with me let's go I'll be feeding frozen mice I'm not gonna be feeding much of it because my dad comes home and he does feed them feed the fish uh, when he gets home so i'm just gonna be getting like a small piece just to show you guys how they eat like this and Delete out of your hands, which is pretty cool. So, just put it in the water and they'll come up to it. See how they're eating? And this is the copper band, which is our ma my mascot, channel mascot. So, just gonna release some of this in the water. This is the um, king of the tank, the sailfin. He's like the boss, he's the biggest one in here. He's pretty big. 
Um, and he, like, scares the other fish and is, like, a bully. But he's the boss of the tank, so. He doesn't hurt any of them, but. We got some uh, yellow tang in here. There's one of them, and there's a purple tang in here, too. Right down there. Um, this is a, uh, there's the copper banana, and then there is the hippo tang, or the blue tang, which is dory. There are clownfish in here, which is Nemo, basically. And then there is a royal grommy in the back, the purple and yellow one. And there's a cleaner ass in here. So he'll go along and he'll clean the sides of the fish and um, make sure there's no parasites on them. Also, this little cleaner goby, too. Where did he go? Right there. This is a cleaner goby. Can't really see him, but he'll do the same thing. There's like three of them in here, I believe. Um, the other one hangs out over here somewhere. I do not see him. There's a, there's a few of these little like um, damsels in here. And there is a one of my favorite fish in here besides the copper banded is the redhead grass. Guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button. It would really help me out. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Um, we do videos on fresh and saltwater fish tanks and my pond and the crusty geckos. So um, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and turn on those post notifications. Till next time, peace.